this video is going to show you how to merge territories. So I've got some data here on the map, but obviously I need some territories. Now, the territories that can be merged together are custom drawn shapes and boundaries that we've overlaid on the map. And I'm going to use the latter in this situation. So I'm going to come over here to the Add button. I'm going to select Overlay Boundaries. Then I'm going to select the U.S. States Boundary. Click on that and then select OK. All right, and now that I have these on the map, I have a few different options for merging territories. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on the drop down menu and select Merge Territories. And I'm going to use the first option, which is Select Territories to Merge. So I'll click Next. And this one's super simple. All I need to do is click on all the shapes that I want to merge together. So I'm going to click on Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. And I'm going to hit Merge. Then I'm going to give it the name of Northwest. I'll click OK. And there you go. Those three states have now been merged into one larger territory. And I can continue this process for all the other territories that I want to create. But I'm going to show you some other ways to do it. So I'm going to click Done. One of the other options has to do with visible territories. So I'm going to hide all the territories and I'm just going to do Arizona and California as visible. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here to this drop down menu and I'm going to select Merge Territories. Now I'm going to choose the second option, which is Merge Visible Territories from the folder, and I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to give it the name of CA slash AZ. And then I'm going to click OK. And there you go. Those two have already been merged. Now the final option is a very bulk edit, which is going to be Merge All the Territories in the Folder. So we're not going to do that because that's just going to give us the entire US as one. But in other situations like custom drawn shapes, that can be a super useful tool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click Cancel. I'm gonna have all these states appear again, and then I'm gonna show you another way to do it. So I'm gonna click right here on Nevada. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna select Merge With. So once I click that, this is gonna have the exact same behavior as the first option I showed you, but it's a little bit quicker because you don't need to go to the actual menu. So then I'll click on Utah, Wyoming, and let's say Colorado, and then I'll click Merge. Now I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to say Rockies, and then I'll click OK. And that's how easy it is to merge territories. But there's still more that can be done with these territories. In this situation where I had Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, if I wanted to see a report on the data, I'd have to click on all three of them individually to see the data across the three states. Well, now it's much easier. So all I need to do is click here on this shape, and then I'm going to get a light box that's going to show me all the data across those three states with all the quantitative and qualitative information that you've input. And this can be edited through here, or you can export this back into a spreadsheet if you need to do further analysis in Excel or something else. And that's how easy it is to merge territories using Mapline.